Welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and what to, to update as the hot. Yeah, we know they miss to bring you the good news and the things where we say they happen for Obodo Biafra. They say, hmm, say the Biafra Liberation Army don't give na energy army woto woto. <laughs> They say no be what small water what away uh, the Nigerian army collect uh, from the Biafra Liberation Army. They say they even burn their hell or self. Say who be them. <laughs> say make they no enter their territory again or say and nah, then get that place. Of course, you know, uh, currently now the sit at home is ongoing, the seven day sit at home. Uh, meanwhile, if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Uh, like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that uh, whenever we are posting news you will be the first to collect it sharp sharp let's still go down you know so i show you one video that time uh, where uh, these people they even uh, the nig army they complain say uh, the the government no one give them good uh, good ammunition and the rest of them meanwhile recently ogatinubu uh, don't go by uh, this thing armored car for all the service chiefs they will be saying come out for office, they retire them. And as rumor they go about say those service chiefs uh, one overthrowing government, they say in go bribe them, give them good money, uh, buy a mod car for them, buy all these things for them. Then if you look at your screen, you will see that uh, the video of the sit at home, uh, the on your screen now, you find that the sit at home is still ongoing. As it stands now, the emo state is on lock and key uh, no school all the schools have closed people are not going to school people are just there you know, nobody is, is going to school uh, people are obeying the sit at home as Mazi simon eba has has commanded meanwhile let's go to this one another one you can see it on your screen tunubu planning to reward as governor wiki with minister ministerial appointment for rigging presidential election article abubaka article is the one complaining on this one that tinubu is planning to uh, reward governor s yes, governor of uh, river state yes on weekend with a ministerial appointment for rigging the presidential election you know recently we've been you know taking notes moving around to ask people what did you what do you think about the just concluded 2023 election and many people, I think 90% of the people we have come across say that this is uh, one of the, the, the worst election in the history of Nigeria. That the, 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 the rigging was too glaring, that it was too open for people to see that even a blind man uh, knew that the 2023 election was rigged, that it was not an election, but it was just a selection and some people who bought the 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 office for themselves they say the candidate of the people's democratic party pdp in the 2023 presidential election article abubaka has alleged that president bola tinubu is planning to reward the immediate past governor of river state yes on weekend with ministerial appointment for rigging the presidential election in the state and the matter uh, as mille sigoni simegene balwa obaluwo imo you get this song where they rain that time where you say uh, with the small so abaluwo abaluwo kamili you know abaluwo abaluwo kamili abaluwo abaluwo kamili so Nigeria abaluwa <laughs> and um as things are going in Nigeria I don't know if this country will have mercantilism because uh, this concluded election was the worst of it. Uh, such has not been had on the history of Nigeria where nobody cared about what anybody will do and they just did anything in the election. You can see it on your screen that um, school shut down by enforcers of sit at home in Imo State. Uh, as it stands now, students are not moving out. Even businesses are not moving in Imo State because the sit at home is currently ongoing. By Chinonso Alozier in a way is reporting from where he said the schools in Imo State on Monday could not be open for school activities following the threat of attack by enforcers of one week sit at home order by indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. 
This is coming about two years after residents in Owere staff observing IPOB sit at home order. It was gathered in Owere from different streets that schools were shut down based on the directives by Simon Eber led IPOB. Some of the places where schools were affected by the IPOB sit at home include but are not limited to Ebu, Wedral, Ward Bank, Owere on Nature Road. Owere Abba Road, Owere Patakot Road, among others. Of course, if you know Owere terrain too well, you will know that these places that were mentioned are the main Owere uh, metropolis, Owere, the main uh, Owere city. If you talk about Wedrow, you talk about Ebu, talk about World Bank, talk about uh, Owere Onecha Road, Owere Abba Road, and Owere Patakot Road, these are main city of Owere. So if the main city could be like this, you could just imagine how the other rural areas will be. They say that a school proprietor along a school proprietor um, along the MCC Orata Road who did not want her name to be disclosed, who did not want her name uh, to be mentioned, said the school decided to shut down because of a letter said to have been written to them by the IPOB. That schools in Owere have refused to obey the IPOB seat at home and failure to observe it will result to severe punishment on default. As a result of this, some of us communicated with other school proprietors and we agreed to stop our students from going to school on Mondays for now until security assures us of protection. We don't want attack. Simple. For over a year now, I think up to two years, we have been opening for school activities it is like this stress i think is like a serious one another owner of school along our abba road was of the view that i think we have do away with this seat at home of a thing how come it is coming back again i got information that this seat at home is not from original ipob people these people doing this should know that they are destroying the Igbo land you can't bring war to your own father's land by doing this. Our education sector is suffering. It is, however, however, other sectors affected were the transportation companies traveling outside Owere. Some of the major markets in the state, banking institutions, among others, are closed. So this is currently what is happening now in Imo State. And um, it is the same thing with other states, Enugu State, Anambra State, and um, Ebony states, the cities, cities are closed down because of the current going sit at home. And it is not just uh, like Monday sit at home as usual. This is a one week sit at home that have been declared by Master Simon Eber, the Prime Minister of the Biafra government in exile. But remember, I I, I read to you the other time that um uh the, the the IPOB has you know denied that they are involved in this sit at home. They say that they are not involved in the ongoing sit at home. So it looks as if the family is divided, and of course you know that a house divided against itself cannot stand. So I think they should do something to balance the equation so that people will know um what is actually going on, what is actually happening in 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 the land uh, so as as they go now so if you are moving out please try and be careful watch on right and left so that you'll be able to observe to avoid getting into to avoid getting into trouble with what you don't actually know but as it stands now uh, places are closed now <laughs> Guinness World Record approved by Kuketon Ondo Chef. <laughs> it's like um, Nigerians, everybody now want to uh, become a cook uh, because uh, Hilda Baki just finished her own and another Ondo Chef, uh, Chef uh, Adiola Ade, 26 year old, known as Chef Dio, has embarked on culinary challenging in an attempt to displace the current Kuketon Guinness World Record holder Hilda Baki with the aim of surpassing Baki's 993 hours and 11 minutes record. Chef Video revealed that she had informed the Guinness World Record of her intentions and received the green light before commencing the cook a ton 
during a visit by Daily Post to the community where people within and outside the town had been trooping into the graduate of SA University, Kotonu, Benin Republic, had gone past 47 hours. This feat by Chef Dio comes just a week after another Nigerian chef, Adepero Sidami Lola, popularly known as Chef Dami, undertook one twenty cooker in Oye Ekiti State. However, Dami reportedly failed to notify Guinness World Record before embarking on the cooking marathon. <laughs> You see that um, uh, ignorance is a disease. The chef, the other dummy, did not know that she was supposed to inform these people farewell. But kudos and also um, uh, I pray for success that Chef Dio will be able to complete. Uh, chef Dio Cook a Ton Challenge commenced on June 30th, 2023 in Ile Oluji, headquarters of Ile Oluji, Okibo local government area in Ondo State. The Cook a Ton is scheduled to be concluded on July 6th, that's um, uh, close to one week. Um, that's a wonderful feat. We pray that the Almighty Chukwu Kabama will help her to achieve her dreams. Meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here, and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever we are posting news, now you will be the first one to collect them. Now you, Biko, for supporting us. Now you, without you, there will be no us.